Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can uh, download and install Eclipse IDE on our Windows operating system. And we have also seen how we can configure Eclipse to run our Java programs. Now in this video, we will see uh, in detail how to create a new project and what is uh, the ecosystem of uh, this Eclipse IDE and we will uh, see how to do some important settings uh, in this Eclipse IDE. So let's get started. First of all, once again, I'm going to create a new project and then I will go to the file menu here and then select new and just select Java project. And in here, in the project name, I will give the name to my project. And uh, this uh, name should be, for example, uh, first project, for example, okay? And then everything remains same. So you can see use an execution environment JRE uh, by default Eclipse detects uh, this JRE uh, and it also detects uh, JDK 8 folder for us so we don't need to provide any path for executing our program right the next thing is we just press next button and in here uh, we will see that Eclipse will create a new project folder for us and it will also create a sub directory or sub folder for us which will contain all our source file okay and the default output folder will be first projects slash bin we are going to see this folder in a moment uh, so just uh, remember this that your default folder will be uh, default output folder will be first project which is your project name which is provided by you slash bin folder you can change it also but uh, for now we will leave it as default okay and then we will click finish now you can see I have two projects uh, in here listed so in Eclipse you can uh, you know open as many project uh, you want but you need to run uh, these projects so so that you know uh, you can run uh, one project at a time right so you can select this project and you can uh, build and run this project otherwise you can run this project okay so it depends upon you which project uh, do you want to run and the other project which is open for now you can close this uh, project by right clicking this project and just go to this option called close project and then this project will be closed that means this project will not be you know visible or open uh, in this eclipse pro perspective right to delete it i mean from your perspective or pa package explorer you just need to right click it once again and you just need to click delete this doesn't mean that it will be permanently deleted there is an option to delete it uh, permanently which is this one delete project content on the disk uh, so you can when you check this it will be deleted from your uh, computer or if you uncheck or if you leave this unchecked it will be only deleted from this uh, Eclipse Project Explorer for now, okay? So I will click OK. So this is uh, deleted, but this other project exists in my computer, but it's not open in this pro package explorer here, right? So I have this uh, first project and this uh, have this uh, source uh, folder right you can just right click this folder which is source folder and then add packages to your folder 
so what are packages packages are used to you know def define different workspaces or different folder you can say in your class so for example you are working on two different um, uh, different classes classes I will explain you later but uh, for example uh, you want to uh, make a program for two different uh, cases in one uh, project then you can create a package for both of the cases so for example I want to create for this first project I want to create a lesson one uh, case for example so I will just write lesson one okay and then I can just finish this and as soon as I finish this this will create a new folder inside my source folder so let's see uh, how does my folder structure looks like so I will open my C folder and remember where uh, we have uh, you know saved our project so at the starting of this Eclipse IDE we have seen that we have saved our project in uh, the workspace folder in your user and whatever your computer name is so here is the workspace folder and in here there is my project which is first project and in here I have the source folder which is this folder and inside this folder now I have lesson one folder which is this package folder so whenever you create a folder uh, create a package it will create a folder inside your source folder and in here we have nothing for now but we will create uh, some code for this okay so I will minimize this and now inside our package we are going to add a new class and this class we will name it as uh, my class for example and just uh, see uh, how I have written the spelling of this my class M in my is capital and C in class is capital right so it's camel case uh, notation so just remember this and in here which method stub would you like to create you just need to check public static void main and I will explain you in a moment what is uh, the meaning of this but just uh, check this option this is important for now okay and then press finish and then it created this uh, class for us class name is my class so every Java project or every Java uh, program you make have at least one class and inside this class you have at least one method which is called main okay so let's uh, I think this uh, is not totally visible for now so to change the font size of this text editor what we can do is we will just go to the windows folder and go to the preferences and in here in the preferences there is a search box here we will search for fonts and in from fonts you can see in appearances there is a category called color and fonts so just click this and in here you will be able to find different categories for example basic cvs debug git and there is a folder or there is a category called java you need to go inside this category and then inside uh, this Java category there is a category called Java editor text font so just select this and click add it and in here you can change the font size or font styles or whatever fonts you like so for example I want to make it bold and for example I want to make it 24 for now okay and whenever I click apply my font changes okay in a similar way I can change the font of my console console is 
this uh, space where your output will be shown. So hello world, I want to change the font size of this uh, font of uh, the output of the console. I can go to uh, the category called debug and in here console font. In console font, you can add it, it and make it bold or whatever you size you want to give. Click OK, apply and it becomes bold and uh, the size you give. Now, I was talking uh, that every uh, Java program has at least one class, whatever class uh, you declare and at least one method which is called main. A method is nothing but a small piece of code which performs some action. So this method and this public static void, I will, I'm going to explain in detail what are these things. But just uh, for now, just to understand that every program will have this main method. And whatever you write inside this uh, curly braces after this main method will be executed. Okay. So for example, uh, first of all, before writing any code, I should uh, teach you uh, about comments. So comments are important. For example, this is a comment and comments are important to document your program. So, for example, I want to define what is the purpose of this uh, class or what this program is doing. I can provide comment easily. So to make a comment, you just give forward slash and then this asterisk symbol and then press enter. And when I press enter, Eclipse is our intelligent as an intelligent IDE. So it knows that I want to give and command. So you can see it has automatically created this kind of comment for us. And whatever you write here, for example, this is my first uh, program or something. This uh, you can do it inside these comments. So these comments will not be uh, executed by your program, but this is uh, only the information you are documenting for your program. Okay, so this is not executed while you compile your program. So this is one way of writing comments. The other way of writing comment is writing two slashes like this. Okay, so this also after whatever you write here, same comment I can write here and then uh, you know, I can write my comment after these two double slashes and this also will not be executed, right? So whenever you create a project, it has a class and this main method and you can see there is a perspective here called outline and you can see your package is uh, listed here, your class is listed here, your main method is listed here. So whenever your program becomes lengthy, this will help you to, you know, quickly access your methods and classes and packages uh, wherever they are. So for example, I click here main, I, my cursor goes, goes to main. Whenever I click my class, see here what happens. I click my class and my cursor goes to my class, right? I click lesson one, my cursor goes to lesson one, right? So this perspective help us to access our method or classes, uh, you know, quickly. Now, whatever you write inside your main class will be executed and uh, this program will be executed and uh, give you some output. So Java has already have some inbuilt classes to help you program. For example, most important class in Java is called system. 
with a capital S. So just write system with capital S and when you give dot Java because Eclipse is an intelligent IDE it will give you this pop-up menu and it will show you what are the method available inside this uh, system class and this system class has uh, so many method you can see and we are going to you know use a method called out here dot print print line print ln okay and inside this print ln so you can see you can just click this method of your choice and you can double click and in here you can write your first uh, comment for example you want to print hello or hello youtube you can do it like this and once you write this this uh, code will help you to print hello world whenever you run your program so for example I want to run my program I will right click my project and I will run as Java application or I can directly click this option run my class dot Java okay so I will just click this green button here and it will open the save and launch so whenever you uh, write some code it's better idea to save your program and if you don't save it Eclipse will prompt you to save your program and then it will run your program so I will save this I will click OK and this prints hello YouTube on my console right so this system is a class and whenever you hover over any uh, inbuilt uh, method or class in uh, your Eclipse editor it will give you this help pop-up window here so you can see what uh, this code is used for for example the system you can see uh, some uh, uh, you know description is here the system class contains several useful class field and method it cannot be instantiated so whenever you are confused about some code and you want some description of this function or method you can just hover over this class or method for example if you want to uh, have the description of this out and what this does is the standard output stream so it prints it helps you to print uh, some uh, data right so in this way you can hover over the codes and uh, see the description right you can also press control and click the method so press control and then hover over any method you want to uh, you know uh, uh, have the description of and then click it and when you click this you will go to the class uh, which has this definition of this system so this system dot class is an inbuilt class so don't be confused by all these big uh, things for now just understand whenever you write system dot out dot print line uh, inside the bracket whatever comments you comment you write will be printed on this console right but I just wanted to show you how you can you know get some help or description or whatever from the code itself that's why we have installed this intelligent Eclipse IDE so I hope you have understood uh, the basic uh, uh, you know things about this ecosystem of Eclipse and creating the project and I hope you have enjoyed the video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now